and now I'm going to turn the transmitter off because you cannot change antennas when the transmitter is on and now we're going to put on this baby Okay, transmitter on, camera running, camera running, oh I have to turn on the transmitter of course, or the, the booster, camera up, okay, camera up, if it wants to do that. That's the thing with the Phantom 4 Pro that the camera is so close to the ground. Okay, record. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Alright, camera down, even a little bit more, okay, I got four or five bars while I'm still at 37 meters high, now I got three, occasionally it drops a little bit. I do have to put the camera straight. Oh, it's too much. Now I am doing like three things at a time. But So at 50 meters, I'm still having two bars while I'm at 1400 meters far, but I do have to get higher to keep the signal. Maximum flight altitude reached. Okay. At 2.2 kilometers, and I have one bar. So that looks like very similar. I do think I can get a little bit further, but as it looks like now, it's not going to be very much. Because at this distance, the video was dropping all the time without the booster, and now I still have a video feed. I can still see everything. And I'm at 2.8 now. This is where I lost the signal. And I can still keep going. Now...
3.3 it's protesting like guy what are you doing why why do you go so far well the reason for that is that for somehow somehow I kind of like to do this it's like more exciting than flying in circles in a field anyway it disconnected and I didn't pay attention 3.8 and it's getting back so I can even go a little bit further but eventually it will return so that's like one kilometer more it's not that much 3.9 it's it's coming and getting back and so let's do four probably I won't be able to see no signal <laughs> yeah that that it got four but um Let's, let's say cancel and let's see what it's doing. It's still there. Yeah, I got four. It's jumping on and off. So. And it looks like I still. It's still there. Nah, at one at one point it has to come back. But I'm 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 looking like what what can I do, you know? Is it, didn't I put the antenna right? But I don't know. Maybe turn it a little bit like this. But that shouldn't be it. Okay, so um, I'm pushing it a little bit more forward. If it still has that control, then um, I will definitely go to a point where I will lose the signal and it will come back. And now we have to wait. It doesn't come back, so let's let's say return to home. On the transmitter. So that if it does get a signal, it will come back for sure. And there it goes. It's 4.37. Wow. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, 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 I think I understand. Yeah. The thing is, when you use a booster, then you boost the signal towards the drone, but the drone itself does not have a booster. So, um, it's like you send control commands to the drone, but the video signal comes from the drone to me, right? So, it means when you lose video signal, you, you will still have control for a very, very long time when you use the booster. So it might even be like this, that 
I might be able to continue flying like like blind into that direction without video signal. And that's, I think that's something you have to be aware of when you, when you use the booster. And I think this is a very good demonstration of how that is, that, that it is like that. Because I, I, I said I was pushing forward so that it would lose signal anyway. But <laughs> I just saw it went more 4.3. So it was just going on, going on, going on. Because it loses video signal, it does not lose control yeah I could I could I could fly further so um, without without video signal well that's interesting and and yes the video signal that comes back it's 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 like at a large distance is very bad and then with the booster of course, you, you make it a little bit better, so you can get a little bit further. I mean, um, like, where did we lose? Like, like beyond four. So it was 1.2 kilometers more. And we got 3.8. So that was like 30%. You get 30% extra with the booster. On your video signal and on your control signal it will probably be like a hundred percent or even more so it's not like um, you use the booster and and then it does not improve the situation like with a hundred percent it's not like two times better I only got 2.8 with the directional antenna, would I have gotten 5.5 like I had in Cyprus? Then with the booster, you would be able to do 6.7 indeed. Well, it's just, um, this is just interesting. But I should probably try to figure out one day how much the car affects the signal. You know, if it if it would be better if I would put out the antenna quite far away from from the car. If that would make a lot of difference, I should do that. But uh, that's going to be another video. If you like my experiments, if you like my flights subscribe to the channel because there is gonna be more i i have this system now and that means this opens possibilities that i did not have on my phantom 4 pro before and it's um i love this i think this is just great you know even even if i have to put the antenna away from me or away from the car I, I can still do that and 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 stay in my car if necessary you know in a situation like this it's almost here you can hear it I'm gonna do manual landing because there's a lot of trees and I get this message that it, obstacle avoidance is not working when it's landing landing yeah all right so stop it stop landing stop landing Put the camera down. Just close to the branches. It's actually very precise. Oh, that was a nice landing. I think I got that on camera. Okay, guys, see you on the next video. Gimbal motor overloaded, yeah, sure because it cannot handle the grass.